Alright, it's time to learn some Oscar. Now, if you've seen me play against this character, I'm usually calling her a donkey. Because she kinda is. She has a lot of evasive moves. Down back one, down back two, down back four. Forward two. She almost has a full throw game, it's just in Tekken 8, generics can be one or two broken. But one break, two break, one plus two break. She also has a launching throw because... Uh, is it this? I dropped it, what the fuck? Full combo. Of course, she has the parry as well, with guaranteed follow-up if you punch parry. She also has three different sabakis. Low. Kick sabaki. And punch. All three of them lead to full combo with massive damage. Uh, of course, the stupid back three. 15 frame power crush, heat engager. And she also has a 50 50 with down 1 plus 2 into a guaranteed follow up. And 1 plus 2, which gives her full combo. Ah, if I can get full combo. And as you can see, she deals quite a bit of damage. Now this donkey, yeah, Asuka, I guess I have to actually use her name now since I'm gonna be playing the character. She does actually have quite a few good moves that I need to try and remember. Starting with Jab. Now, her Jab isn't really the greatest. Like usually Jab's a plus one on block, hers is minus two. But it has plus nine on hit and it has good extensions. You have one, two, plus six on hit. Minus 8 on block, so still safe. Also does have a third hit, the spin. You can throw this out sometimes. We also have 1-1, one, one, which is a mid. But this is only natural on counter hit. Plus 4. Minus 7 on block, as we've seen. Does have a delayable 3. Now that's minus 5 on block. It's plus 6 on hit. Uh, but on counter hit... If I can get the counter hit, goddamn. And counter hit guarantees down back one two heat engager. Have to be pretty fast with it though. And then you have one three, which is pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It's neutral on hit. It's minus eleven on block? Yep. Yeah. It's it's just there to be an annoying move. Being plus zero on hit also means you can sabaki if someone tries to punish. You also have standing three, which is pretty damn good. 14 frame. It's a mid, even though it looks like a high. Plus nine on hit. Minus seven on block. Has a hit confirmable one follow up. Plus eight on hit. That one's minus 11 on block. And the one by itself knocks down on counter hit. And of course, one plus two, the stupid move. Minus nine on block. On hit launches for full combo. Forward one and forward one three is basically what comes out of 1-1. One, one. It's a 20 frame mid. It's not the greatest move, but it is basically your 1-1-3. One, one, so you do have the delayable 3 afterwards. So basically the same stuff as 1-1-3. One, one, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this before though, but because this is only minus 5, if he would block the damn thing, can Sabaki there as well. You also have forward 1-4, but this, as you can see, is a death on block. It's not all that good. The only time it's good is on counter hit, because you can crowd cancel into a forward 2, if I can get it. There we go. Yeah, for 62. And next is forward 2. <laughs> really good 17 frame mid. Face of launcher. This is minus 18 on block though, so it's launch punishable. And it's also like one of the better whiff punishers in the game. You can also do this. <laughs> you, you can cancel it with down. Also, on hit, if you press 1, you get non -Eva Gusto. But this does make her combo slightly harder. You have to like change it up. Next 
Next up, we have Forward 4, a high 19 frame homing attack. Knocks down on hit. Does lead to a combo, it's just kind of awkward. Oh, there we go. I got it. And I dropped the ending, never mind. But it's an awkward combo to do. Also, on block, it is plus 3, which is pretty damn nice. But of course, it's a high, you can duck it. Forward 1 plus 2, 15 frame power crush high heat engager. Stupidly annoying. And only minus 9 on block. Next, we have down forward 1, which should be 13 frame, but sometimes comes out at 14. So it's a 13 to 14 frame mid. If it hits at 14, it's plus 9. If it hits at 13, it's plus 8. It's really weird, but that's on hit. On block, minus 3. And it's really good because of its extensions. You have down forward 1, 2, which is a high. As you can see, it's minus 3 on block. But if the second part hits, it's really good. And on counter hit, it's guaranteed to hit. But <laughs> pretty good damage. Down forward 1, 4. Minus 12 on block. If the 4 hits, it knocks down. Natural on counter hit. But if the 4 counter hits by itself, that's full combo. Can I drop the combo again? What the fuck? There we go, full combo for 91. Next, we have down 2. Now, this is a bit slow at 18 frame, but it is a heat engager. You're kind of kind of hoping to hit it from a bit of a distance with this one. On block, minus 4. Down 1 plus 2. 20 frame low, knocks down on hit for a forward 2 follow up. On block, minus 18, so death. Also, you can do it from crouch. Uh, but this move does not have the best range. As you can see, sometimes it just whiffs. So you have to be up close for this one. Down 3 plus 4, the can-cans. This is a low, by the way. For those of you that didn't know, this, this is a low. 14 frame low. It's not natural on hit, and as you can see, it's minus 8 on block. Uh, I think June's is still minus 6 with pushback, unless they changed it. So Asuka does have the nerfed version, but it's still good because it's a low. And on counter hit, for launch. Down back 1, 14 frame evasive mid poke. As you can see, plus 6 on hit pretty damn good. Doesn't have massive range though. As you can see it's yeah, it has kind of pathetic range sometimes. It's minus 10 on block but that's not entirely bad and its follow-ups are guaranteed. You have a hit confirmable 2. That's a heat engager. You can see that it, you can delay it for quite a while. That's only minus 9 on block so still safe. You also have down back 1-4 but this isn't so useful outside of combos. And on block, that's launch. Down back 3, 20 frame low poke. It's pretty decent, has decent range, but you can't really do anything with this. Like, on hit, out in the open here, plus 4 doesn't do much for you. All your follow-ups are going to whiff most of the time, because you're going to be at a bit of a distance. On block, minus 12. So not too bad. But it becomes much better at the wall, because now you can actually do something with this plus 4. Counter hit, it's plus 14 as well. Next we have the leg cutters, down back 4. Neutral on hit. Minus 11 on block. If you do two of them. Minus 7. If you happen to counter hit, down back 4, 3, uh, well, GG health bar, I guess. I whiffed it, no! and two. Holy shit, that deals damage. Also, uh, the second leg cutter on counter hit, if I can get it, is a launcher as well. You can also go into three ring circus from this as well. Back three, the donkey wheel kick. 16 or 17 frame launcher on hit. Into decent damage. Minus 19 on block. But because of the wonkiness with this pushback, it's pretty hard to punish sometimes, especially online. Next, we have back four. Pretty good 15 frame mid, plus eight on hit, as you can see. Only minus seven on block, which is pretty damn good as well, because it launches on counter hit. Oh, I messed up the combo. Why oh. when I'm recording, I drop everything. Again? Yeah, 
There we go. 88. Next, up forward two, 14 frame high attack. As you can see, 45 damage. That's the opponent on the floor right in front of you at neutral. Not really sure what the setups are with this though, but I, I guess that. And it's minus one on block. Pretty damn good. But it is a high, you can't duck it. Next, up forward three, pretty decent move. You can use this to get in on your opponent from like pretty far back. Plus eight on hit. On block, it's only minus three, which is quite surprising. And of course, on counter hit, it launches. Forward, forward one. It's a bit slow, but on hit, it guarantees a down back one too, which is pretty damn good. On block, it's plus five. You can keep, you can keep pressuring with that. Pretty good move. Again, slightly slow. That's still good. Forward, forward three. Good homing mid on hit is plus 11. And puts you into crouch as well, by the way. On block, it's minus nine, and you can stay in crouching as well. And on counter hit, it guarantees a running forward two. But awkward to do. Ah, there we go. So it is guaranteed there, it's just pretty awkward to do it. While running 1 plus 2, holy shit, this move. It's a homing high 17 frame. You can run at your opponent with this, pretty good to get in on them. Knocks down on hit, as you can see. On block, plus 4, which is pretty nice as well. And it does get better if you have Naniva Gusto active. Next up we have while standing 1 4, really good. Natural on hit. Guarantees a forward 3 plus 4 be a bit faster with it though. He did very decent damage. While standing one by itself is minus seven on block and one four is minus four on block, but you can't duck the four. While standing two and while standing two one plus two, pretty good. Uh, there's no reason to not just use while standing two one plus two. On hit is just like your best way of going into destabilizer. While standing two by itself plus eight. Minus eight on block becomes minus five if you do one plus two. But again, this is something that can be ducked. Even if you do while standing two, one can be ducked as well. Next up, we have while standing one plus two. This move is pretty damn good. It covers quite a bit of distance. Look at that. Plus 13 on hit. Minus two on block. But at the wall on hit, it becomes plus 25. So yeah, 350-50 of those lands. And on counter hit, full combo. Also, you can cancel it and go back into crouch so you can keep doing this. Next, we have full crouch two. So this is crouching down forward two. Uh, this is an annoying low. 16 frame, it's zero on hit. Minus 11 on block. And on counter hit, Guarantees while standing 1, 4 into forward 3 plus 4 for 65. Uh, I think you can also crouch cancel into a down forward 2. It's just pretty damn hard to do that. Yeah, it's pretty hard to do that, but I'm pretty sure you can. You also have full crouch 3. On hit knocks down, which means you get a guaranteed forward 2. And on block gets minus 9. So not only do you have a standing mix up here between that. Yeah. You have 1 plus 2 and you're down 1 plus 2. Uh, you also have a crouch mix up between are you doing this annoying low or are you going to do a mid? Side step 2. Another great panic move. It does have some wonky range sometimes. But it's a 13 frame mid heat engager. From a side step. Minus 13 on block though because it does need to have a weakness somewhere. You also have side step 4. Now this is a high attack, it's like roughly 18, 19 frames, it says 17 to 21 for a reason. Like there it was 17. On hit, plus 7. On block, minus 6. Can also be plus 8 on hit, it's, it's one of those weird moves. But why use sidestep 4 when you have sidestep 2? Well, because on counter hit, this launches. 
It's just that the combo itself isn't really that great. Like, you can whiff things here randomly. Yeah, like that is just whiffing for some reason. I was doing the combo wrong, but yeah, there we go. Kind of a wacky combo, though. Now that we covered most of the good moves with Asuka, let's go over her punishers. Her standing punishers. At 10 frame, you have 1, 2 or 1, 3. 11 frame, you have magic 4. 12 frame, you have 2, 3, which is pretty damn good. Uh, at 13 frame, since down forward 1 is uh, kind of finicky to use there, you'll use 2, 3 instead. 14 frame, you have up forward 2, which is really good. 15 frame, down forward 2 into full combo, of course. At 16 frame, you have 1 plus 2 into full combo. At 17, you have forward 2, which is also the best whiff punisher you have, I guess. Because you also still have a down forward 2. But while standing at 10 frame, she has dick jab, of course. 11 and 12 frame, you're gonna use while standing 4. For 13 frame, you have while standing 2, 1 for damage and plus 9. Or you could do while standing 2, 1 plus 2 for instant destabilizer mix up. I keep forgetting it's 2 after destabilizer. Or 4 for a low. At 14 frame, you have while standing 1, 4 into forward 3 plus 4, which I did too slow. At 18, you have while standing 3 into combo. At 20 frame, you're crouch cancelling into up forward 4. Now, Asuka does have something new to Tekken 8, which are the install things. Hers is Naniva Gusto. Uh, it enhances some of her moves. To get it, usually you're getting it through a combo, a punish, or through just going into heat by itself activates it. So forward 2, 1 on hit. Forward 3 plus 4 gives it to you as well. You do have back 4, 2, 3, but the last hit has to connect for you to get it. And you have to press 1 there as well. Forward, forward, 2, 1 plus 2. So that's, again, as you can see, stuff that you would use in a combo. So what does it actually do? Like I said, it buffs some of her moves. But how exactly? Well, the first move that gets a buff is up 1 plus 2. And it's a buff for combos. So let's just do some shitty combo. Yeah, that was a really shitty combo. <laughs> You'll see that... way. If you use up 1 plus 2 here, it flips the opponent over. You don't really get much from that. But if you have Nani Vagasto active... Oh my god! The full proper combo of the ship. See that it spikes them to guarantee a forward 3 plus 4. So if you just have Nani Vagasto active by itself like this, without heat, You see, that basically recycles it. The next move is forward, forward, one plus two. You see on hit, it it doesn't do much for you. It knocks the opponent away from you. Plus 29, so you can dash up and get a mix, maybe. On block, this is also minus six. But if you have Nani Vagasto active, this becomes plus two. And also turns into a launcher on hit. And the same goes for your running one plus two. As you can see, it knocks the opponent away from you like that. You can't really do much with it. And it goes from plus four on block, I think this was. Yeah, plus four on block. It goes to plus 11. And of course, turns into a launch on hit as well. I dropped it. Screw it. <laughs> you, get the, you get the point. She does damage. So Nani Vagasto basically turns two of her approaching moves into launchers and one of her moves into a very, very good spike wall ender. I mean, not wall ender, combo ender, especially when you don't have a wall, for example. You can do that out in the open. Oh yeah, by the way, I, for I forgot to mention this before, but that's the that is the punch parry, the Sabaki. This move is so cheap. Like, look at a normal hit, it gives you a, a full combo. As well as on, in, when you sabaki something with it. 
When you parry, you get full combo. On normal hit, you get full combo, and on block, it's it's neutral. That move is so dumb. And that's kind of all the quick intro stuff to learn about Asuka. As much as I call her a donkey character, she is still a Kazama, which means she has a bit of everything and an answer to almost everything. And as long as you have the read on your opponent, you can get a massive reward for it because of the Sabakis. Anyway, if you liked, leave a like, dislike if you didn't. Uh, now it's time for me to try and remember all of the stuff in rank.